हेलो एवरीवन ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस इज निर्भय चौहान फ्रॉम मेक लव्या सेल्फ लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स वेल वेलकम टू द सेकंड ट्यूटोरियल्स 002 दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन अ डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन ऑल द फंक्शनलिटीज वेदर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम माय न्यू डिटेल्स फ्रॉम मेजर डिटेल्स अबाउट द पेजेस ऑफ द टेक्ट्रॉप वर्कबेंच and we will also cover cover how you can basically create your own custom template using an existing template from freecad and how you can create editable text non editable text and inserting some svgs or pictures in your sheet for uh, for your purpose just like the one i have created for this course as you can see here so before moving forward uh, let me just show you from the beginning how actually everything begins from inserting the page itself so i'll close this one and let me just delete also so as you can see we have already activated the workbench name techdraw which is the main uh, title for this course so here these are the three options which are given in the techdraw workbench for the pages but there are many other things which we can cover further so the first option is to insert the default page so if you have seen the previous tutorial for in which we discussed about the preferences for our for the tech drop workbench if you haven't watched just do watch that it's very necessary for moving forward in the entire course so basically this will insert the default page we, which we have already set in our uh, preferences so i'll click here and you can see this is the uh, sheet which i have set for my own purpose as a, as a default one or what i can do is i can click on this particular option and this will redirect me to the templates uh, directory of given by the freecad itself uh, a pre given directory here you have access to all the existing templates so suppose i want to use um this one i'll click open and now you can see i have an existing uh, template where i can edit my text so if you see clearly and with this clicking anywhere on the screen the left click you can move the sheet like this and simply scroll and zoom in zoom out these green fields are the fields which are editable and the ones which are not green suppose this one author and app appropriate app title the simple dead fonts these are not editable so i click on this suppose i write my name you can see it is live directed so this is how you can edit your text so i'll just show you with the template which i have created for you suppose uh, this see page main title this is editable one with the green here and i can write here suppose um tech draw for bim full course and click enter topic name as you all know second tutorial and this covers all about pages so you see it's getting very aligned automatically as this is set previously i show you how you can do that and then you have certain editable text here like author name i let me just write nc here drawing title about pages and so on you have things like then you have size you have the sheet number i can like simply write here sheet 1 out of 5 okay and then scale you can mention if you are mentioning as you know we are going with the uh, 1 to 2 uh, 1 to 200 scale as seen in the preferences this is the part number you can mention and the drawing number suppose i am mentioning as 02 and then date and reason and so on so this was the part of editable text and now i will show you in this video only how you can create your own template as per your own convenience and custom text with the use of an existing template provided by freecad so i won't go into much technicality simple straight forward thing so what we'll do is let me just firstly yeah show you the directory so here if you see this our directory and you can just copy this path okay as i have already copied so this is the directory where you have all the templates and for editing a templates you require an essential software called inkscape which is an 
wonderful software it's also free and open source so i'll recommend to download that then suppose we can pick any template here suppose i'm going with this one i'll double click and it will uh, redirect me to the inkscape just a while it will take and now here the first thing that we need to see so this is a default um, interface of the what we say inkscape so we won't go into much detail just the purpose that we want to fulfill here the thing is non editable text and the editable text and some svgs okay so the first thing you can see is the editable text which is the steps that you require suppose we remember this author name was something editable and this created by was non editable so right now we are interested in the editable text suppose i copy here double click and then i have access to this i'll simply control c and control v so i have sorry this one so i've so i have basically copied this text this suppose i want to place at the top of our sheet now the thing that you need to take here is don't double click like this and click on entering the desired thing that you want here not like that so there is a uh, proper approach for this so right now this particular text is linked to this text only as they are simply copied paste no doubt this is not non editable as you can see the layer name here this is another layer but when you will take it back to your freecad and you enter some value here it will be also shown to your this particular text if this is your requirement you can definitely go with it uh, but if in case suppose you want a separate non uh, sorry separate editable text what you can do for that is the first thing just click on it and go to edit here and then you have xml editor okay click on it and the right hand side you can see xml editor just expand it a bit and automatically when you click on any text it will show you the uh, hierarchy here you need know, to just go anywhere and right hand side you have the editable information so this is a thing in which we are mainly interested the free cat editable fine so click on it here you have uh, the title which is fine and then you have the main heading heading basically in which it will be attributed it with a parameter name basically by which it will be identified in the free cad remember so if i just quickly show you if i click here this was the attribute the text name topic underscore name right so this is how it identified and this one was page underscore main underscore title so same manner this is author name and author name is and if i just show you quickly it is same for this title as well author name and now if you see for drawing title it is different right so this is how things are happening so what we will do is we want to change uh, the attribute of this i'll click here and i change the author name to as you can say page underscore title and i'll click on set that's it and you are done okay this is how you can and you can create another cop another uh, editable text also and then change here fine i'll click pro or close here and if you want to for time being now this is default text which will be mentioned in your free cad workspace so if you want to change the default text basically it's better preferably to keep it same as per the attribute which i just assigned now so i right click on it and i go to text and font this is another window here you can <clears throat> choose the type of uh, font that you are interested in okay suppose we are interested in sigoy ui fine and uh, text is normal which is fine the size of font i want to keep it as 40 okay and the uh, text name i can write here as default title all right and i click apply and close and you can see it has changed here and then you can simply place it wherever you want fine now the second thing was non editable text which is pretty straightforward 
for that what you can do is any non edible text like this supplementary information okay this is non edible so simply double click sometimes you have to go layer by layer i'll just copy this as whether the attribute may be same but this is non edible so you need not to worry you can simply copy and place it here and right click go to text and font similar thing and i'll simply change the value here i can write it as uh, for educational purposes only right the font a rest of information is okay for me you can change if you want and then click apply close and this is changed here position is also fine here at the corner of your title window so this is done now last thing in this thing uh, uh, page editing you can mention is your some pictures or some svg better to go with svg so you can open another svg inkscape and copy from there also or you can click on the file go to import so here i have some of the svgs for my purpose suppose i want to import the trust svg i'll click open it is somewhat here i'll place it here and if i want to resize it evenly what i can do is i'll click on this lock button and then move it in any position just sorry the here and it will resize evenly and i can place it at center click here and then this so this is fine now we have the svg also in which you were basically you got to cover so three aspects of this editing has been covered now we'll save a copy of this template so that we can import it back in our freeken and use it for our purpose so go to file click on save as and here i can write it right as a2 landscape landscape uh, my page fine so you can notify and click on save i'll go to freecad again and this time i'll open an existing template from here and i'll try to search so here it is a2 landscape uh, my page fine i'll click open and here you can see this is a template which you were interested in now uh, what did you see the green bar here which identifies editable text so i'll click here and you can see page title which you mentioned attribute so you write it has uh, write it here as uh, all about it's basically arc object So by the way, just I remind, uh, I got a reminder here. We already have a tutorial in the free CAD um, here in my playlist, uh, which basically covers all the aspects of the trusses in free CAD. Uh, then you can see here, these are already pre-mentioned editable things, and this one is your non-editable text, which is static. Fine. Another thing, as you can see, this uh, justification is left. What you can do is if you just double click again here and you go to text and font and on the font here it's left you can make it center and click apply okay now its justification is basically left whatever text will mention it will expand both ways so i can just quickly resave it again and let me just delete this template right now and I'll re-import one. The same, it's the same name, which is my page. I'll open, and when I'll write it here now, <clears throat> it will be centrally uh, justified. I can write it here as quickly all about arc trusses. And you see, it's evenly distributed. So this is how you create editable text, and the non-editable ones, and inserting your SVG in your uh, drawing template however we'll definitely cover how you can insert in your working drawing some other symbols that you want but this is something static which we have taken which will be kept as fixed suppose you want to insert your company logo like this in your drawing template just like uh, the one we have done so this is for that purpose 
fine now remaining things basically that you can see you have an option of redrawing which will definitely come in the next tutorial basically as we don't have any view here it basically identifies whenever any view is or any object is changing in live in your 3d workspace and dimension has changed it will parametrically ch show the changes here as well fine now moving to the properties bar of the pages uh, like here you can see the projection is third angle the label you can change you can write it has, has my page and click enter and you can see in the tree view it has changed to my page uh, keep updated is true uh, basically we want to update it lively with the views template is okay you can change template from here suppose in this page okay it has template this page page 002 it has template 002 I can click here on three dots and I have these three available templates with me. Suppose I'm interested in this template, I click OK. At first instance, you won't see any updation here, even after refreshing. So simply close this page and now try to reopen it. And then you will see the changes have been updated in your, uh, what do you say, in your template, in your pages in page which we are interested fine uh, <clears throat> moving forward uh, about the other properties that you can see here basically is the views this will come when any views are placed on your sheet all will be mentioned here and then uh, definitely you can remove or add from here as well scale is one which we are not changing as we discussed in our uh, last preferences workbench uh, story also then there is the next boolean index this is basically to identify suppose when when you entering any balloon here balloon is basically to show the key details as i have told you in uh, the preference tab also and the introduction also how what the balloons are do just watch that to have review and it can start with one by default or you can just simply write it here as zero 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 or like a b c x y z it can start from that if you write a the next balloon will be b and then see and then so on fine so these are it and the template properties these are read only read, read only properties uh, orientation is read, read only the label you can change it's up to you the width and height of the sheet is read only and then the page result this is a path which is basically redirecting you uh, the free cut is redirecting to a temporary location which is changing the temp which is saving the template and then the last option template it is the template which you're actually using from a directly given by you fine so this was it guys i hope you find this tutorial helpful i know it was quite lengthy but there are some very essential things which you'll be using in your uh, routine tasks when you create your own custom sheets and pages for your own workspace so see you in the next tutorial guys we'll be covering the first part of the placement of views okay so stay tuned let me know with your comments uh, what other things that you face any issue or something so see you guys then this was nirvay johan take care goodbye thank you so much